Oh, that's not good. I don't know what that is, but it's not good. It's big. Welcome everybody to a new series on Ark Survival of All. I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, we are going to uh, play some Ark. It's been over two years since I last played this game. I have a total of 3,000, actually over 3,000 hours in this game. So I have played it quite a bit in the past, but I uh, just took a, a two and a half year or so hiatus from it and uh, excited to get back into it. Uh, we are going to play on uh, a multiplayer server in my Discord community. Um, that server is run by, uh, my good buddy, Wyoming Joe. So he's, it's his server. So he's setting all the rules and all that sort of thing. Um, and we're still kind of tweaking things, but, um, a couple things I can tell you right off the bat is that we're playing on the Fjord, Fjorder, I guess that's how you pronounce that map. Uh, I've never been on the map before, so I'm excited, uh, to, to try that out. And we are, um, we have, a, we've tweaked a few things. I think we have like two times XP, four times taming, and uh, we have six mods. I think we have like the egg and poop collector. We have S plus. We have uh, one of the stack mods. We have the reusable consumables, you know, like the bolas and that kind of thing, and a couple of other ones that 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 come to mind. But all of that stuff is, you know, potentially going to be be tweaked as as we go along. Um, the other thing I want to point out right at the beginning here is that I am planning on combining some Let's Plays and some live streams with this series. I'm not going to do just a pure Let's Play or a pure live stream series. I'm going to kind of be doing both of those. So um, it just works out best that way uh, for my schedule. I know that some people don't like that because then they see a live stream that's before some of the Let's Plays, but um, it's just that's the way it's going to work out best for me. So hopefully that's not too big of a deal. Uh, to everybody okay so this is my character i don't really care so much what the character looks like it's just not a big deal to me um but we will change our name to og and uh, we're going to i think i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to spawn in uh vardalan south i i have hopped in and played just a little bit on a single player game to kind of get my head back in the game and i still there's still a lot of stuff that i don't remember that i'll have to rediscover and then of course there's two and a half years of arc updates that have occurred that i don't even really know about either because i pretty much didn't watch arc or uh you know didn't play it or anything like that for the last two and a half years so there's going to be some new stuff to me too which is going to be fun um i did try to start here in vardalan north and i just was constantly it says it's an easy start but i don't know if i just had some bad luck or whatever but i was just constantly getting killed by carnotaurs and raptors and so uh we're gonna we're gonna try this south uh vardaland spawn instead okay so uh let's jump in and get started with this and have some fun in art very much looking forward to doing this it's been a while like i said uh, since i've played and uh yeah so we'll see what happens hopefully we don't get uh oh did he used to make those noises i i'm probably gonna say that a lot like did it used to be that way <laughs> so uh okay cool so here we are uh in arc and one of the nice things about spawning um in this particular location is that i don't even think we can get that green drop is that it's got these you know wrecks that we can get some tools and some food and some stuff out of uh, right from the get-go um so let's do that actually let's um let's punch this open and we already got ourselves a crossbow oh you know what we're gonna get rid of all this all this crap we don't need any of this crap it's just uh well i don't know what this does earn xp from alpha creature kills when equipped to increase its level and earn additional max levels for your survivor. To increase the alpha's level? Is that what that means? I'm, I'm not sure. That looks like that might be actually use, uh, useful. So all this other skin stuff, I just don't give a shit about. So we're going to get rid of it. Doesn't matter. Except for maybe the cowboy hat. I, I do like the cowboy hat. Candy cane. No, we'll, we'll keep the, well, the hunter hat. We don't need the naked, naked body stuff. The glasses are kind of fun. We might keep those two for the hell of it. I don't know. Don't care about bunny ears or Santa Claus hats or witch hats or thorny dragon saddles. Uh, scanning the element of caves. HLNA can be equipped to the shield slot or attach. 
to an existing shield. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, okay, so we got to level up, and we're already cold. We're cold as hell, as a matter of fact. So I, we, we probably, I mean, we're going to need health, stamina, weight, <clears throat> and fortitude. Those are usually the ones that are the real important ones to start with. Um, and why don't we actually go ahead and put some points into fortitude. And uh, that way we can start trying to deal with this cold a little bit. Um, I want a torch. Oh, no, I guess I already know the torch. I want a campfire. And we're going to need... I think we're going to need the hatchet because these are these are prerequisites to stuff later on. Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, that's just a dodo. Okay. Um... All right, well, here, let's, um, we're probably going to need to, what time is it? Oh, shit, it's getting dark, isn't it? Okay, that's not good. Um, let's see if we can open up a couple more of these crates. Uh, oh, God. What was that? Oh, that's one of those, um, Alba Raptor things. Okay, they, he won't hurt us. Yeah, I, it's going to take me a while to get used to the game. Um, shit. Okay, I <laughs> It's dark. I can't see anything. All right, we're going to have to make a torch. So we need to find one flint and one wood. But to... Oh, shit. There's a raptor over there. Okay, this is already not going well. I think we're going to die by virtue of the fact that we're cold as hell. Um, Guys, if you can't see anything on the screen, don't feel bad. Neither can I. <laughs> yeah, we're going to die from cold. Uh... Okay, yeah, I can't, I can't see anything. It is like fucking pitch black, just about. What's this? Here. Oh, nice, we got a pick, okay. Except we're gonna get killed by a raptor, okay. <laughs> we're off to a wonderful start. Oh boy. Okay, well, um. <clears throat> What I might, I don't remember. It looks like the time's going by quicker than normal. But I don't remember if if Joe set the the or tweaked the day and night lengths. I hope he did, because I don't like long nights in this game. Um. So I might need to. I might need to pause the video and just wait till morning because it's not going to do you guys any good to see me fumbling around in the dark. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'll probably, I think what I'll do, guys, is I'll cut the camera here, and I'm just going to wait until morning, or, you know, if I can do a couple of things in the dark without getting et by that raptor. Um, I'll bring you guys back when, uh, when morning comes, okay? So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so it looks like uh, he does have the nights uh, set to go by pretty quickly, which is great. It's only been five minutes, maybe, since I, I left you last. Uh, I've been killed uh, two or three more times by a raptor that doesn't no longer seems to be around, which is good. Um, so let's grab all of this stuff. And most of this is just more of the starter crap uh, but if I don't pick it up I don't, I don't know if that'll if it'll just keep um, you know showing up like that so here let's uh let's get over to here I just uh, I just need some flint and then I can make a torch okay so let's make that. That'll not only give us a little more light, but it will also help keep us warm. And then the next thing we need to do is make a campfire. Uh, so where the hell did that torch go? There it is. All right, so let's just put the torch right there. Okay, now what do we need for a campfire? We need... Stone and thatch. Okay. Let's go over to these trees here. 
That's the Ava Raptor. Okay, so we use the pick on the tree for, for thatch. I'm sure we're going to find a hatchet in these chests too. And then let's get a little more stone. And uh, now we can make the campfire. We also have 13 Ingrams uh, that we can spend. Oh, sh oh. Damn, that scares me. Okay. Uh, here, let's get... Let's get this back out, so you can see and I can see. Uh, we're going to need to set up at least a temporary camp somewhere right around in here, so I'm just I'm just a little hesitant because I don't know where the hell that raptor went. He's, I think he's still in the area. Here, let's, let's kind of shelter right into this little spot here. Oh, that's not good. I don't know what that is, but it's not good. It's big. Like... Carnotaur T-Rex big. Man, I forgot how brutal this game is at the very beginning. <laughs> it's a rough start. Okay. Um, it's still very difficult for me to see just because, well, I got the glare of my camera light in real life, but it's, you know, we're still at pre-dawn here, so... All right, whatever that thing was, I, yeah, okay, I see him. You guys probably can't. He's directly in front of me. I think it's a Carnotaur. Hmm. Well, that's, that's a problem. I thought this was supposed to be an easy start, man. What the hell? Okay, um... I wonder if that Carnotaur can get up here. He probably could if he really went the long way around. Oh, look, there's a waterfall over there. Okay, let's do this. Let's, um... Hmm. Maybe what we'll do is we'll set up our initial camp right down here okay so we'll grab our campfire I know I'm gonna dump all this crap here in just a second okay and then go into inventory and we'll put some wood in there okay so that along with this will help warm us up a bit okay that was step one of 579 steps that we need to survive. <laughs> oh, man. I love this game, though. It is fun. I, I, I enjoy the challenge, but it can get frustrating after the 20th death. Uh, not, not that I've died 20 times yet, but... Okay, so we have some levels here. Um, and the next most important thing... I think, yeah, we, we should probably make clothes, because those will help with um I think that's just that Ava Raptor. Well you know what actually hold on before we do that even let, let's open up some more containers and see if we can get a hatchet and a pike. This will just give us wood. These, these will give us, like, scrap items, but they're not going to have, like, whole tools and stuff inside. So let's go look for another. Okay, the raptors, I think, that was eaten on me last night is over that way. Okay, here's a couple more things here. Scrap metal. Try this. Okay, there's a pike. Good, good, good. Um, we 
We've got two pikes. We just need a, a hatchet now. Not there. More oh, more pikes and picks. Uh, and we're now we're now we're too heavy to move. Okay, so oh, that's right. We got we got to deal with in weight encumbrance in this game, not slot encumbrance like Seven Days and I. So let's get rid of all this shit. I'm gonna keep the hat because I like like it, but the rest of this stuff just doesn't matter to me. I guess we've probably died three times if we have three of those. I want to keep the stone. I'm going to have to drop the scrap metal. It's not doing us any good right now anyway. I really wish the game would not put the shit back in your inventory every time you die. I mean, you know what, though? I mean, there might be a setting for that now that I think about it. Okay, maybe I have died four times. Okay, I'm still... I, I can just barely move. Okay, can we make a storage chest? We can't. We gotta get to level four before we can do the storage chest. Okay, so that means, unfortunately, we're just going to have to dump stuff that we, we can't do anything with right now. Unless, well, yeah, let's dump the metal. I hate to do that, I really do, but it's very heavy and we just can't do anything with it right at the moment. Okay, let's eat some of this. I, I don't really want to get rid of those because... We're not going to be able to repair these once they go bad, so I want to keep them in a storage chest. Let's go back over by our fire. We still need to get a hatchet. Okay, so open this up. We can put the wood in there. And... Can we put one of these in there? These are 10 pounds each. No, it won't let us. Okay. I don't know how long he has things set to uh, last when you drop them on the ground. Uh, but... Oh, I know what I need to do. I'm, I'm... Okay, never mind. I'm being stupid here. Well, not stupid. I just am trying to remember how to do this. Okay, let's add another point to fortitude. We have to do these first before it unlocks the Ingrams. Um... Okay, let's do a health and a stamina. There we go. Now we can make the storage box. And... Oh, you know what? He doesn't have S plus active. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to talk to Joe and tell him he doesn't have S plus active. Because this, it, we should also see the S plus version of this box and we don't. No problem. We'll, we'll, we can deal with it for now. Uh, we'll get that stuff added later. Okay, so I just need fiber and wood for making one of these. So we're going to have to find some fiber. Oh, shit. That's that carnator. I think I had just barely gotten into uh, range of him, of hearing his... Yeah, see him right over there? His footsteps. If he comes over here, we're in. We're not going to be doing so good. Okay, let's grab some fiber. Guess we can't harvest ferns. Some. I think. I think you can harvest some ferns, but not all. Okay, what else? Uh, we And then we just needed some more wood, which... I mean, I could learn the stone hatchet. I think I'm going to need to anyways eventually because it's a prerequisite. It's just that we could uncover like a shit ton of hatchets just right in any of these barrels. Nope. Nothing there. What about this one? 
What's that? Oh, it's a pel pel Pelagornis, I think they're called. Another pick, pike, and crossbow, but no frickin' hatchet. All right, well, can we at least make this now? Oh, we're dead. Can't even move. <laughs> uh, maybe we're not dead. Depends on which way he goes. The only thing we need to make this chest is 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 wood. Okay, here. Actually, do we have enough wood in the campfire? I I we're dead. That guy's gonna come over here and just chow down on us. Uh, yeah. Here, let's just grab this wood real quick, just so we can make the chest. Because again, I don't want to throw out these metal tools if we can keep them. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Get away from me, you big meanie! <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... Let's, uh, I'm gonna wait a few moments before I respawn to see if that Carnotaur will wander off. Alright, we're back in the game... I uh, waited a few minutes, and we're inland a little bit now. Uh, while we're here, I'm just going to grab a few more. Um... What the hell was that? What is that? Oh, I'm picking up sand. Oh, no, I don't want sand. That is so loud. Uh, anyway, while I'm here, I'm going to grab some more fiber, and then we'll head back. Hopefully that Carnotaur wandered off. I haven't been back there yet, of course, to see. That's kind of jank looking. All right, well, anyway, here, let's just go grab this here. Okay, there's a raptor over that way. Right where we need to go. Um, let's, let's put a point into wait. Okay, so that's unlocked a bunch of cool stuff for us, but we're, I'm, I'm not going to worry about the Ingrams until we can get back to our location. Um, I don't want to mess with this Dillo right now either. I think those guys, I think those guys will attack you. If you get in range, they are aggressive, but I don't think they have the same aggro range like that the uh, bigger predators do. The Carnotaur is still really close to our location, too. See, there he is right over there. I mean, he's... <laughs> you might as well be right on top of our camp there. Goodness gracious, this is a tough start. Okay, let's go this way. At least we're not ice cube freezing. We're we're snowflake freezing, but not ice cube freezing. Come on, guys. Wander over and go somewhere else. You know, another thing we could do is we could just kamikaze, you know, uh, get try and draw them off and sacrifice ourselves again to do that. That's a tactic that I have used many times in this, in this game when you're first starting out. Um, oh man, goodness sakes. Okay, well, let's just see if we can get back around and continue to uh, try and make this work as best as we can. Um, I still don't have a hatchet either. Got everything else but a hatchet. I believe those red thingies over there are runes. Like, you know, R-U-N-E rune. That we can get to give us extra levels. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, but I'd really like to get a hatchet. Let's see if we can pop it up. Yeah, the Dillo Agronomus, but they're, I think they're easy to get away from.
That sounds like a T-Rex. Because the... The big thumpity thump of his footsteps are... Not as fast as the Carnotaur. Shit. Come on, man. One... I just need one frickin' hatchet. And now we got another crossbow. It's not what I need. Scrap metal. We're just... Having the worst luck here and getting a hatchet. Yeah, I see you there, Dillo. Hmm. I don't know if... Do we have a better chance of getting one if we're using a tool instead of our hands? Getting some cooked meat out of the deal. We got a pike. I don't need a pike. I need a hatchet. All right, you know what? All right, screw you, man. Let's use... Uh, let's use the pike. There we go. We got a hatchet. Oh. Oh, no, that's a Bronto. Okay, never mind. We're good. Okay. Um, so let's grab the, the hatchet. And we'll put that down there. And we got another point. Let's put that point into weight. And now, let's see if we can get back to our spot. Uh, but once again, I need to jump all of this shit. Uh, sort by weight. Yeah, we don't need this. We don't need that. I want to keep any resource items for the moment. Minus seeds. We don't need seeds. Okay, there's the Carnotaur, but if we can get away from him in the water without getting et by other things. That's a 135 Carnotaur. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was thinking, I wonder if I could maybe kill him. No, that's not going to happen. Or her. No, don't walk back towards my base. Walk away. Okay. That's good, though, because that kind of pulled them away from our location. Depending upon the level of the raptor, it is conceivably possible, <laughs> oh shit, that we can kill it. <laughs> yeah, oxygen's a thing, just so you know. I wonder if this stuff is harvestable. Oh, that's just stone. Okay. Now nah, we don't want to make ourselves heavier right at the moment. Oh, come on, man! You were supposed to go off the other direction. <sighs> Drop off. Oh, we're right at the border. Dang, okay. At least there aren't any sharks or anything around here, so we can retreat to the water. If we can get into the water on time. The struggle is real. The struggle is frickin' real. Crouch. I don't know. Does that matter in this game? Is there stealth? I don't remember. Come on. Carnotaur. Alright, here. Did they... Oh, did they break my... Oh, man. They broke my storage chest. Shit. Okay. We'll make another one. What do we need? We need more wood. What's in here? Oh, here it is. I, I guess I never even had a chance to set it down.
All right, let's put the extra stuff in here that we don't need to keep carrying around at the moment. Um, mainly the tools. Uh, so let's grab all of these extra tools so we have them as backups. I still wouldn't mind finding um, another hatchet or tin. Okay, so we'll move these guys over here. And let's make another storage chest so we just need a little more wood. Keep hitting the wrong button. Here, take take all of this stuff now. Wrapping storage. I'm trying to keep the storage chests in a spot where they're not going to get but broken, but I don't know if that's going to actually work. So, Okay. Let's keep all of these ridiculous things in there. We don't need you. Well, actually, I don't want to dump all this stuff off right in front of our, our place. What? I'm stuck. Um... What was it? Oh, we don't need this. I actually do want to keep all the rest of this stuff. Here. Shut up! I always hated that about this guy. Uh, okay, here. We need to actually eat. That'll get him to shut up. Okay. Let's put this in here. We don't need to carry that with us. And let's put up the berries... And the meat we can cook. Let's get that going. I think that'll open up another slot for the cooked meat. If I remember right. We'll stack those two things and... Yeah, I'm going to just put the... I'm not ready to tame anything yet, so there's no point in carrying all those berries around. Let's put the spoiled meat in there, too. Okay. We have a chance... We have a chance to, to breathe for a second. Um, I'd like to... Let's go to here. I would like to make... I want to get to... Um, wood structures as soon as possible but what is the next most important thing for us to do I'd like to build make arrows but it looks like we have to get to level 10 before we can make arrows um we're gonna want to make narcotic and we need a mortar and pestle and spark powder those are just a given so we'll grab those the slingshot we could use that to knock stuff out for now and probably don't I don't know I think do we have to learn thatch before we can learn wood I, I don't remember I think we do so if we do then we do but I'm not sure I'm, I'm gonna hold off on the hatchet and the spear for now because we have those tools so probably making some cloth armor is gonna be the next most sensible thing for us to do Okay, we still have 11 more points. Um, fishnet, simple bed. Spyglass, wooden club. The wooden club could be used to knock stuff out. We could make ourselves a canoe. Fiber hide thatch. Its storage reduces spoil time. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, you know, we're going to want the cooking pot, of course, eventually, but I don't know that that's a high priority for us right at the moment. If we learn the bed... Yeah, see, that requires the sleeping bag. Okay, so obviously we're going to need that, so maybe we can make a bed to set a spawn point for ourselves. And let's go... We still have eight points. Let's just sit on those points until we level again. 
because I want arrows and bolas in particular as soon as possible. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, no, I got to hold down E to open this. Let's grab that stuff. So I think what we need to do now is gather resources to make ourselves some cloth armor. And we can already make the chest piece. And looks like we can make the pantalones. And let's make the shoes. Oh, maybe we have everything we need. Um, the hat. And oh, look at that. All right. That's awesome. But we did have enough. Okay. I don't remember what the keyboard shortcuts cut was for adding these, so I'm just going to add them manually. And then we'll put the, the cowboy hat on. There we go. Okay, so that's going to help us with um, hyperthermal insulation. Got that done. Beautiful. Okay. So we have our spear. We can't use this yet until we can make arrows. So I think we need to just keep working on leveling um, so that we can, uh, you know, get the ingram for the arrows. All right, guys, I think this is a good stopping point here. That was one hell of a struggle, but we've, we're have we just barely inching forward. <laughs> I'm making progress. So I'm going to cut the episode here. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode and keep having fun here uh, in Ark Survival Evolved. And um, like I said, gonna, this is going to be a combination of Let's Plays and also live streams, but I will combine both of those together in a playlist uh, for those of you who are watching this um, after the fact. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.